animal tissues. Like plants, animals are also made up of different types of cells. When a group of similar cells perform a particular function in an animal, it is referred to as tissue. These tissues can be differentiated into four groups according to the structure and function of the cells. The four types of tissues are 1. Epithelial tissue 2. Connective tissue 3. Muscular tissue 4. Nervous tissue Animal tissues Epithelial tissue Squamous epithelium Ciliated epithelium Columnar epithelium Cuboidal epithelium Connective tissue Tendon Ligament Areolar Adipose Cartilage Bone Blood Muscular tissue Striated or voluntary muscles Unstriated or involuntary muscles Cardiac muscles Nervous tissue Epithelial tissue Structure The cells of epithelial tissue are of different shapes depending upon their location and function. They may be flat, cuboidal or columnar. These cells are tightly packed and there is no intercellular space. On the basis of the shape of the cells, the epithelial tissue is classified into four types. Squamous epithelium, ciliated epithelium, columnar epithelium and cuboidal epithelium. The uppermost layer of the skin, which you see, is built of epithelial tissue. It covers the entire body of the animal and covers the internal organs. This tissue protects the underlying cells from drying, injury and infection. Location They are present on the outer surface of the skin and line the internal organs like esophagus, stomach, intestine, heart, etc. Functions 1. It protects the underlying structures from injury. 2. The cells present in the stomach secrete juices which help in digestion. 3. Some cells help in absorption of digested food. 4. Cells of the skin excrete sweat to remove waste products. Connective Tissue The cells of this type of tissue are composed of different materials. The various organs of the body are connected with one another by connective tissues. Location They are present in all parts of the body in different forms. Structure 1. Tendons a band of tough fibrous tissue that attaches a muscle to a bone called tendons. 2. Ligament A band of tough fibrous tissue that connects bones and cartilage at a joint or supports an organ, muscle or other body part is called ligament. 3. Areolar A fibrous tissue with jelly-like matrix is called the areolar tissue. It binds the skin to the underlying parts in animals. 4. Adipose A fibrous tissue which contains a large number of cells filled with fats. This tissue acts as a shock absorber and also forms an insulating layer. 5. Cartilage These are the tough elastic tissues that are found in the nose, throat, ear and in other parts of the body and form the most of the skeleton in infancy. 6. Bone It is a hard connective tissue and is the major part of the vertebrate animals. It is composed of living tissue such as bone cells, fat cells, blood vessels and non-living materials like water, 
and minerals. 7. Blood It is a liquid connective tissue which is present in the entire body. It is a vital fluid found in humans and other animals that provides important nourishment to all body organs and tissues. Functions 1. They connect one tissue or a group of tissues and organs to one another in the body. 2. They provide support to the body and body organs. 3. Blood, a liquid connective tissue, connects all parts of the body and transports the materials essential for the body. Muscular tissue. This tissue consists of bundle of cells called muscles. The muscles are specialized to undergo repeated contraction and relaxation, which one responsible for the movement of the body parts. Location. They are found in every part of the body. Structure. They are of three types. Striated or voluntary muscles. Unstriated or involuntary muscles. And cardiac muscles. 1. Striated or voluntary muscles. These muscles are attached to the bones. These are composed of cylindrical fibers with transverse striations on them. These muscles are also called striated muscles. They are found in arms, legs, neck, etc. When required, they help in writing, running, working and are therefore also called voluntary muscles because they are under our control. 2. Unstriated or involuntary muscles These are composed of cylindrical but spindle-shaped fibers and have no striations on them. They are found on the walls of stomach, intestine, lungs, etc. These muscles help in breathing, digestion and other activities. They are not in our control and are therefore called involuntary muscles. 3. Cardiac muscles These are composed of branched cells that have striations on it. They are present only in the heart. They help in pumping of blood to the different parts of the body. They are responsible for the expansion and contraction of heart and are involuntary muscles. Functions 1. The muscular tissues help in the movement of various parts of the body and thus help in locomotion. 2. They also cause the movement of internal organs. 3. They help in the movement of food in the alimentary canal. 4. They also help in pumping of the blood to the various parts of the body. Nervous tissue Nervous tissue is composed of nerve cells called neurons. Location Nerve cells are present in the brain and spinal cord. Structure The main body of neuron having nucleus is the cell body with branching dendrites and a long cytoplasmic structure called axon. The dendrites connect one neuron to another. The axon transmits impulses to an organ or collects impulses from the sensory organs. Function They transfer the information from one part of the body to another.